Hello, this is Richard from Alvr. I've just downloaded and started to use the new plugin for Premiere Pro from Insta360 uh, using the Pro camera. Uh, it's really good. I just wanted to show you how it works. So um, first, we need to go to the Insta360 website, click on Downloads at the bottom, and uh, select the Pro um, for the stitching software. Download the latest update of the stitching software, and that includes the updates for Premiere Pro as a plugin. So if you install that, just click on the relevant link, install that, and it will automatically install the plugin for Premiere Pro. So make sure you've got Premiere Pro closed. Once you've downloaded that and installed it, when you come to Premiere Pro that I've already got open here, you get a new uh, flyout on the window menu. So go down to win Window and then Extensions, and you get this new option here, Insta360 Pro Importer. What this does is it imports files and makes a proxy for you, so you don't need to pre-stitch them. Pretty awesome. Save you a lot of time. So. Uh, you can select one of the options here, but it will only import relevant files. So select if you know which one is uh, the type that you've done. So I'm going to do monoscopic as an example here. These two I just did uh, this morning. Uh, and now I'm going to import a file. So I just select the file. Now I've already looked at these and just gone through to log them, but um, we'll take whichever. Um, so I'll import the whole folder. It will have um, a V number if it's um, straight out of the camera. So I'll import this and it's really fast. This is real time. There's no cuts here. It comes straight in to the window. And we can see a little preview here. One thing to note is that uh, I film this upside down. So of course the preview is going to be upside down, but we can enable the gyroscope data to be uh, activated here. So I've just pressed the little cog. And if we press gyroscope stab stabilization there and save that, don't worry about the other two settings for the moment. Um, it will correct the preview. So that was, uh, if, if the um, camera is on at any angle, it will make it upright for you for editing, which is exactly what we want when we're editing. So we can close this window, and it's been brought into my window here. This is the bin that I was in. So it's been brought in, so I can drag this straight onto the timeline. Now that's it. This is now running a proxy file, and I can see it here. There I am. And then... Um, so you can see our setup here. You, this is running the proxy file, and I can I can edit it as though I would a stitched file, but I haven't stitched it yet. So when I come to export, it will stitch it as part of that process. One thing to note is this is a proxy. We want to be able to toggle the top proxy, toggle the proxy. So um, add that into your little window along the bottom here if you haven't got it already by pressing the plus button. And then we want this one here, which is toggle proxies. Drag that down into the menu. Oh, we got it. There we go. And then we're, we're blue, so we're on a proxy. We can take it off, and we'll get the full resolution version, which will play, but it's going to be slow. But we toggle it on, and then we get the proxy version, which is um, super um, super easy to look through, runs really nice and smoothly, but slightly lower quality. And then we can do whatever we want on here, and then we can toggle it back if we want. So really, really good workflow, uh, really good update from Insta360, and they're really proving themselves to be um, leaders and, and really helpful in the 360 video field and we really appreciate it and um, look forward to uh, hearing more. Um, if you like this video put some comments in the boxes below and please subscribe as I'm intending to do lots more tutorials. Hope this is useful. Thanks so much. This is Richard from LVR.